Some people might say that investing in collectibles or gemstones is a bad investment. Others might say that investing in gold or oil is also a bad idea. You'll even get people saying that investing in the stock market or property is too risky and therefore a bad investment choice for the average person, especially of late. But according to statistics and the most recent AMP Natsum report titled For Richer, For Poorer, Divorce in Australia, the biggest threat to your financial future is getting divorced. Your relationship with your spouse is by far the biggest investment choice that you'll make in your life. Getting divorced is a guaranteed way to hurt your financial future. Yes, I know, your spouse is not really a traditional investment, so to speak but it certainly does hold a lot of sway with your financial well-being. Overall, 11.9% of people are separated or divorced in Australia. Tasmania has the highest divorce rate at around 14.8%, while Queensland has the second highest rate at 14.3%. Almost half of divorces involve children, with an average of 1.8 children per family. This matters, as families with children tend to have much higher costs and expenses. Divorced parents aged less than 45 years have 35% less assets than married respondents of the same age, while divorced parents aged 45 to 64 have 25% less assets than their married counterparts. Super balances for divorced mothers are 68% lower than married mothers. Divorced fathers aged 45 to 64 have 60% less superannuation than married fathers five years after a marriage breakdown. Home ownership rates are lower for divorced men and women than those who remain married, even more than five years after the breakup. While transitions in renting are similar for divorced males with and without dependent children, renting is much more common in divorced mothers than divorced females with no children. 20% of newly divorced mothers struggle to afford basic items for their kids, such as school uniforms, leisure activities, or school excursions. This compares with only 2% of newly divorced fathers. So basically, divorce has a significant impact on families' financial well-being, whether they have children or not, both in the short and medium term. Financially speaking, no one wins from divorce. The effects of marital status on wealth accumulation are dramatic. The total value of assets owned by divorced individuals is substantially lower than that of married couples. Retirement for divorced couples looks bleak, as super balances for divorced women are almost 70% less than that of married women and 28% lower for divorced men compared with married men. If there's one piece of advice that I would like you to take away from this video, don't get divorced. Or a better way to put it would be, choose your investment wisely, that is, choose your partner wisely. Don't just use your heart when choosing your future Mr. or Mrs. Wright, also use your head. If you're a 68-year-old man and an attractive 28-year-old lady is showing interest in you, it's probably not because of your athletic body and superior intellect. She's probably interested in something else. If your boyfriend yells at you and doesn't like you saying no, then he's probably not going to be a very good husband. Just as you spend a lot of time deciding where you'll invest your money, you should also invest a lot of time in your most important financial asset, your relationship with your partner. Both are important to your financial future.